Chapter 2 The Map Get set. Take the true and cross the false statements on the basis of your previous learning. A map is a rough drawing of an area on the curved surface. A map can be drawn on any flat surface. When it comes on study, map is preferred over globe. A map is a representation or a drawing on the earth's surface or a part of it on a flat surface according to a scale. It could be hand-drawn or printed. It helps us to identify the places and locations within an area, helping us to navigate from one place to another. It is very easy to handle as it can be easily folded or rolled. It gives us detailed information about the physical and political features of the earth. Types of Maps It is not easy to show all geographical features on a single map. If all things are drawn on one map, it will create confusion. So, different types of maps are used for showing different details. We can classify different maps as Political maps These maps show different countries, states, administrative divisions, cities, towns and villages of a country. Chirpy says, A book of maps is called an atlas. It contains a number of maps. The name Atlas has been given after Atlas, a giant Greek mythology who held up the world on his shoulders. Physical maps. These maps show different physical features such as mountains, hills, plains, plateaus, valleys, rivers, lakes, seas, oceans, etc. Thematic maps. These maps show details of different themes, such as weather conditions, rainfall, direction of winds, forest, soils, crops, roads, etc. Features of map Every map has various features such as directions, scale, colors, signs and symbols. These features help us to study a map easily. Let us study them in detail. Directions Every map has four major directions. East, West, North and South. These are called cardinal directions. They are shown on a map by arrows with letters E, W, N, S. On a map, North is always at the top and south is at the bottom. The east is always on the right and west is always on the left. Besides these four major directions, there are four sub-directions. They are Northeast, N-E, lies between the north and the east. Northwest, N-W, lies between the north and the west. Southeast, S-E, lies between the south and the east. Southwest, SW, lies between the south and the west. Think a while. What is the importance of directions in a map? Distance or scale. A map is like a small picture of a large area. Every map is drawn according to a scale. On a map, the distance between two places is shown many times smaller than the actual one. Every map has a scale, which is provided at the corner of the map. The scale helps us to measure the actual distance between two places. For example, if the distance scale represents 1 cm, that is equals to 1000 km, then the actual distance can be calculated by measuring the distance between two places on the map in centimeters. Colors a map shows different geographical features through various colors. All maps follow the common scheme of colors. Blue color shows seas, oceans, lakes and rivers. Dark blue color means deep water and light blue color means shallow water. Green color is used to show forest, plains and lowlands. Yellow and light brown colors are used to show lands which are higher than the plains. Hills and mountains are shown in the dark brown color. Signs and Symbols A map has limited space 
so certain signs and symbols are used to represent different things the important signs and symbols are international boundary state boundary district boundary metalled roads unmetalled roads railway line broad gauge railway line meter gauge level crossing bridge capital of country state capital city or town post office telegraph office police station stream canal river dam well and tank forest temple church mosque globe versus map a globe differs from a map in many aspects let us look at some key points of difference between a globe and a map a globe is a three dimensional sphere while a map is two dimensional a globe represents the whole earth whereas a map may represent the whole earth or just a part of it a globe can be used to get a broad level picture of the world while a map provides more specific information about different places a globe being spherical in shape spins around an axis however a map is a representation on a piece of paper and it does not spin globes are made of hard materials and cannot be folded making them difficult to be carried around however you can easily fold and carry maps all along with you you can use maps for navigating from one place to another however globes don't provide enough specific details to help you in navigation think a while what skills do you think need to draw a correct map quick review a map is a representation or a drawing of the earth's surface according to a scale a map is very easy to handle as it can be easily folded or rolled political maps show different countries states administrative divisions cities towns and villages of a country physical maps show different physical features such as mountains hills plains plateaus valleys rivers lakes seas oceans etc thematic maps show details of different themes such as weather conditions rainfall direction of winds forest soils crops roads etc a globe is a three dimensional sphere while a map is two dimensional